Imagine walking into a small, sterile room, knowing that you're taking your last breath on Earth, but not knowing what those final moments will feel like. What will happen? Will it hurt? Will it feel like suffocation? Or simply like drifting off to sleep? This is the reality facing some inmates in the United States, where a new, untested method of execution is on the table. Execution by nitrogen gas. In this video, we're going to take you through the history of this controversial practice, how it came about, what it does to death row prisoners, and the controversial heat with which it's applied. Wait with us until the end as we talk about the psychological and emotional impact of a practice that raises tough questions about justice, morality, and humanness. Death by lethal injection has been the American tool of choice for decades. It has come under increasing scrutiny in recent years following cases of botched executions, executions during which the administered drugs did not function as desired, causing blatantly evident suffering and prolonged suffering. These cases fueled protests and court proceedings, with the procedure being denounced as cruel and unusual punishment by its critics. In the midst of all this increasing outrage, some states started looking for other options. They discovered one, nitrogen hypoxia. Nitrogen hypoxia is not a complicated procedure. It is simply putting an inmate in a sealed room or having him wear a mask and then filling the room or mask with pure nitrogen gas. If we inhale nitrogen rather than oxygen, our body is fooled into thinking everything is fine. The patient becomes unconscious quickly, then quietly dies. Or at least that's the concept. This practice was first made legal in 2015 in Oklahoma and the other states to fall into line including Alabama and Mississippi, can't be far behind. But here's the rub. No one has ever tried it before. And for a purportedly more humane practice, variables are mind-boggling. Nitrogen is colorless and odorless, easy to administer without alarming anyone. If a person breathes pure nitrogen, he does not know immediately that the air is oxygen-free and thus will not feel the full horror of strangulation. Proponents think it can be an instant, Quiet death, an antidote to the sinister side effects of capital punishment by injection. But the problem is this. No one has ever had any history of executing people with nitrogen anywhere in the world. That is, nobody really knows what it does to a human being in those final moments. Opponents call it an untested experiment on human life. Would the person get dizzy, nervous, or even frightened without feeling air? Could there be unforeseen effects, physical or psychological. Shortage of known effects on the process frightens people, including doctors, lawyers, and human rights groups. Oklahoma tried in 2019 to employ nitrogen hypoxia as its primary execution method, but the development of formal guidelines has kept it at bay. Nitrogen gas is utilized for animal killings, but its application to human subjects is venturing into unknown territory. Imagine your destiny being determined by the test of an experiment with no final conclusions, no guarantee of an easy death, only the hope that it would not be done again as it was last time. So far, the idea of nitrogen gas execution is still theoretical. Legal obstacles are likely to set it back further, and opinion is sharply polarized. The nub of the argument is in we. Question of humanity. Is it ever truly possible to make death humane? Or are we deluding ourselves to think that there is a humane method of ending human life? For all of us, the issue is not necessarily the approach. It's the larger ethical concerns regarding the death penalty in the first place. Seeking an improved approach is a testament to our own discomfort with the exercise of execution itself and apprehension about repeating history. But whatever the outcome towards, becoming the new normal. The process makes us aware of hard realities about justice, compassion, and the value of a human life even at its worst. The past of nitrogen gas as a substitute for the death penalty challenges us to go beyond the easy and handy, to ask the difficult questions on issues of justice, humanity, and the value of our own actions. It's easy to view execution as merely a matter of policy, but for the person who faces it, it's his or her life, one moment that encapsulates their entire existence. And that is why it's necessary to question, to disagree, and to hold on to our humanity, even at the most agonizing decisions. 
So you are here today, and you think about the past of nitrogen gas. And don't forget this, the choices that you make today will shape the history of tomorrow. Choose to ask questions. Choose to care. Choose to speak out for what you believe in, even when it's difficult to do. Thanks for watching. If you've connected with this video, then share it. Keep posing the big questions. Keep educating yourself and always be you.